you know, we're trying to, through our mission, being able to deliver education, training opportunities, and cultural enrichment activities to anyone within our reach. And this just is one more method that we can use to reach our community. We have uh, very fortunate that uh, commissioners uh, and our local government provided the resources for this building, uh, our Technology Education and Development Center. So our local dollars help to build this facility that has provided a home for all of our um, IT courses, web technologies courses. We have a virtual reality training center that I think you're, you're familiar with. Um, and this television studio. So we're sitting in the studio space of a high-definition studio. It has three cameras, a teleprompter, and all the support equipment behind it that uh, we can use to produce in-studio uh, programs. We used to call them live-to-tape programs, but we don't use tape anymore. Right. So live-to-file, for, for lack of a better term. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so we can record programs. Or we can go live from the studio straight out to the cable system. So that we have that uh, possibility. One, you know, some just wild things we thought of would be even a call-in show relating to automotive technology. You know, click and clack are probably the two, you know, the most popular program on public radio. Well, maybe we come up with our own click and clack, you know, through the automotive technology. Uh, another th kind of cool new thing that we have going on is our film and video technology program mm -hmm. here at Blue Ridge. And so we have about 20-something students who are learning the art and craft of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And they have student projects which they produce, which we'll, we're still working on the idea of exactly how to format that material. But uh, we envision having a program that's dedicated to, to that particular discipline to give the students uh, hands-on, real-world kind of experiences and, and how to put together programs for air. Mm -hmm. um, continuing education is a wealth of uh, possibilities. We have, a, as you know, a large continuing education program here at the college with some 14,000 students each year who are affected by uh, or who take advantage of the programs offered through that area. And how many is that again? 14,000. So that's large, particularly yeah. for an institution our size. So uh, in that area of the college, we'll find programs on uh, uh, emergency medical technology, fire and rescue, uh, nursing, uh, law enforcement. And all of these people have content specialists who have a great deal to offer in terms of putting together material that would be of interest to the community in general. So that's a big source of programming that we hope to tap into.